Why do we need an intro? We getting right into a four game win streak currently. Our guy John Means has a 54 ERA. We got to get that down because in his one game against the Yankees, he pitched an inning and a third and gave up a ton of runs. And now we're going against Boston and, and well, we're trying to get that down. I'm starting scouting. Like I said, in the last, last year's draft, I'm promising that we will have a good draft. So I wrote down some of the names of the people that are like the blue chip guys or whatever and I'm interested in. But I'm also looking for other things like some infield play from international uh, players, you know, some pitching, some outfielding and some outfielding. I'm going to put together a list of great prospects and we going to have a better draft than last year. We signed Charlie Morton and he had a pretty good outing. Um, almost pitched a complete game, nine strikeouts, and then his, his um, overall dropped immediately. We drafted him or signed him. I think he was a 76 and now he's a 74 after a good outing. I don't understand it, but our pitching staff, not too bad through the first couple games of the season, which is great. Only thing is that John Means sucks right now, but that's fine. One bad outing. I mean, Keegan Atkin also pitched two innings and has been struggling, but everybody else has been holding it down. Um, Daniel Norris, I guess is a six ERA in his one, uh, um, one, he, he pitched three innings, two games. Okay. Two games. We still haven't seen Tyler Wells this year. Got to get Tyler Wells on the bump at least uh, one time in this game. Maybe we don't because John Means throwing a complete game shutout, uh, no hitter, perfect game, wh whatever you want to call it. He's getting that done today. So Zach McKin McKinstry? McKinstry? I feel like I got to Google 90% of names in baseball because I don't know him. It is McKinstry. I don't know why I'd be second guessing myself. That it's an, um, that's an American name. Anyway, um, we have fastball slide, slider, sinker, splitter for Tim Anderson. One, two count now after watching a fastball down and inside. Here we go. Slider. Hey, last episode, I disappointed by losing the home opener. I refuse to lose again when we're filming a video. I refuse to. Every loss we're going to get from here on out is going to be simulation losses. I'm a, I'm, I got my, my batter's eye on, or my eagle, eagle eye? My eagle eye on. I'm about to be pitching gyms. I refuse to lose another game. Um, so, yeah. So, no Andrew Benatendi today, but we got Zach McKinstry in the lineup batting in the eight hole, if I'm not mistaken. I say all of that, and uh, I, I did not do any warming up. You know, sometimes I go ahead and play some games online of Diamond Dynasty before I film these videos. Nope, not today. I woke up and felt like playing some MLB The Show, and we went right to franchise mode. So, you know, <laughs> maybe not the smartest thing when you promise that people wins, but you got to do what you got to do. You know, I didn't have time to warm up. We just go out there and we hit baseballs. 2-2 two -two count for Cedric Mullins, who's been struggling so far. And I, I just, I always jake my PCI way too much. That's three up, three down for Tanner Hoke. Um, and he's out of that inning. All right, Mr. Means, that 54 ERA. Every out we get, we're lowering your ERA. Think about it like that. It's a 3-1 count to start off to Trevor Story. We got him to watch that one in, and now it's a 3-2 count. We got to give him a slider inside because I know uh, uh, he hates sliders and sides. Literally something I made up, so don't go Googling it. But I, I, felt, I felt like that's right. Nobody likes a slider inside, actually. Everybody's kryptonite is slider inside, and your kryptonite is... A fastball low, but in the zone. First strikeout for John Means, and now that ERA is, is sub 54. Just like that, it is sub 54. Cy Young coming. I hung that pitch, but he fouled it off. Alex Verdugo's not ready. One, two count. Let's strike out the side, actually. Let's show people that that first outing is not you. Not a strikeout in the side. But hey, two up, two down so far. Xander Bogarts is here. Let's give him a curveball in the dirt. See what his eye looking like. One, one count. It did not end up in the dirt, but it was out of the zone, and he, he got a foul, fastball, high and away, and we out the inning just like that. Look at that. Out the inning just like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Cedric Mullins, Ryan Mountcastle. You know, I know we're on the week into the season, but they're struggling out the gate, which is okay, I guess. Oh, my God. If I would have told you that two of our best hitters were struggling out the gate and we were still, you know, 4-2, and two, You'd be like, oh, that's a good sign because that means our pitching is doing okay, which it is. Trey Mancini, he's hitting 263 through the first six games of the year. 3-1 count for him. And that one is not going to be deep enough for anything that's dangerous. But it, it felt like it for a quick second. It felt like there's a possibility that that was going to leave the ballpark, but it didn't. Everybody's starting off struggling. Jorge Polanco's hitting 190 on the year through the first six. We've been really just pitching our butts off or something. Oh, that's a perfect, perfect. That's a perfect, perfect. Jorge Polanco, 
First home run of the season for Jorge Polanco. There we go. We found the ball on that one. 413 is the way it went. I mean, he threw us an absolute meatball down the middle of the plate, and I found that ball. Yeah, there's nothing better than the perfect, perfect sound, bro. Ooh, the perfect, perfect sound. That's the perfect, perfect sound. You feel me? Here it is. Get off my bat ball. And that, that might as well have been a no doubt, ladies and gentlemen. 413 feet, and we got our first run of the game. All right, Austin Hayes hitting 211, but he already got a home run. That was in the first. Uh, he just threw me another fastball down the middle, and I, I. Why did my PCI end up all the way up there? He threw me another fastball down the middle. And the last one I took yard, and then now it's a slider. How did I just fall off that fast? I just fell off that fast. That's crazy. All right, Rafael Devers. Lefty, lefty for us. I like our odds. I know Rafael Devers still does his thing. Um, but, you know, I like a lefty, lefty matchup when I'm the pitcher. 3 2 count. 3 2 count. Um, you know what? We're going to give him a fastball inside in the zone still. It's not going to end up where I want it to go. It's going to be way too far inside. Never mind. They don't want to get that bat off their shoulders. Two strikeouts, both of them looking so far for John Means. He's got some nasty stuff. Here's JD Martinez. 1 1 count. Grounded to Ramon Urias, who's going to make the routine, routine play. That's two outs that quick. Bobby Dahlback starting off the season pretty good. He's 3-1 uh, count. I'm going to give him something to hit. And he he, he did exactly that. The no-hitter is dead for John Means. That's okay. We're okay with that. Shout out to Bobby Dahlback. Starting off really, really good for them. That's going to be his only hit of the game. Guaranteed. Kike is going to sit down with this pitch. No way. No way. That wasn't me. He had him out of his own. He was running by himself. Oh, wow. We're not about to give up a run because Jorge Polanco is trying to cover the bag, right? We're not about to give up a run because he was trying to cover the bag, right? Come on, man. Let's get this man out. Tim, routine play for you, Tim. Wow, we got lucky right there. We got lucky. We'll take it, though. All right, this is Zach's first appearance of the year. He's got some pretty good power versus righties. I think it's at like a, a um, 68 or something. So he's a good guy to have in this matchup to let Adam Ben uh, Andrew Ben Attendee um, chill for a little bit. Ay, yay, yay. Um, uh, was that a that, that that slid? Did it? That was a slider, wasn't it? There's no way that was anything other than a slider that made me look foolish. It was a slider. I'm telling you, bro. The slider is the hardest pitch in the game to hit for me. Adley starting off struggling. He had two RBIs in the game, first game of the season. That's a perfect, perfect, though. Adley, oh, my God. Deep center is so far, but it doesn't matter. See you later, ball. Adley with his first home run of the season. 404, three, uh, 103 off the bat with the exit velo. And another perfect, perfect. That was high and away. Still in the zone, though. High and away for Adley, his first home run of the year. It seems like when I'm batting with Adley, he's playing a lot better than when we're simulating. A lot better than when he's simulating. Let me get that replay, please. Adley, get off my bat ball. Perfect, perfect sounds. Two times and two innings, baby. I'm back. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Timmy. Let's get it going, Timmy. That did not get through. Adley Rutschman with a solo shot. We got a solo shot from Jorge Polanco. We need to get some base runners, though. Every, every one of our hits can be solo shots. We need to get some base runners, man. But we got two run support for uh, Mr. Means out here. He's about to deal. And we're going to be right back hitting. I don't know if y'all noticed. I have not thrown a single circle change this video. Because I don't trust myself with the circle change. I don't know what it is about it. But I'm just so bad at it. That it feels like if I if I throw it, it's going to be either a guaranteed base hit or no doubt home run. And either way, I'm not a fan. <laughs> so we just refuse. Oh, Ryan Mountcastle playing it to the shift. Right? That's definitely 100% a shift. It makes that play. You know what? Verdugo, I'm going to throw it at you. See, look at my speed on it. I'm too fast. Okay. Okay. I'm throwing it. I'm throwing it again. I was too fast that time. Let me slow it down. Wow. Wow. I just threw a pretty good circle change. We just got to slow down. That's what it is. It's 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 a slow pitch. We're not throwing him three circle chains in a row, though. We throw him a slider, and he, he refused to go down. All right, through three innings, we're already at 50 pitches. That's the, that's the bad thing about quick counts is that, you know, a lot of these at-bats go longer than what you want them to. 
But hey, we're out of the inning. We're out of the inning, just like that. All right, let's get some base hits, man. Let's get some base hits. Everything doesn't have to be a home run. One, two count for Cedric Mullins. Tanner's still on the bump. He's at 41 pitches because we're not making him work. We're not making him work. I feel like he's in. He's ahead one, two every at bat. We need to make him work. Get his pitch count up as well. 42 at the moment. We're going to make it higher. That's a base runner. That's a base runner. And it's a double. Ground rule double from Cedric Mullins. That's great. All right. Here we go. Let's go, Mountcastle. Lead off double. There's no way we don't score here, right? There's no way we don't score. There's no way I disappoint the entire the entire city of Baltimore by not scoring this runner right now. That was a pretty good pitch to hit. I was just I was late on it. I was late on it. PCI placement ended up being solid, but I was just a little bit too late. We cannot strike out. Whatever we do, put the ball in play. Put the ball in play. Whatever we do. I'm not worried about nothing else other than not striking out. We need to put the ball in play and hopefully just advance the runner at the bare minimum. And we do that. We do that. Hey, I'll take that at bat from you, Mountcastle. We move the runner over. And now we got Trey Mancini up to bat. Just get hit me a fly ball, Trey. Hit me a fly ball. Nothing on the ground. 2-2 two, two count. His last at bat was a fly out. So that's that's promising, I guess. That's not it, though. 3-2 count. It might, be, it might be good for them to walk him to maybe get a double play ball from our next batter, who I don't even remember who it is because I'm not used to my lineups just yet. Um, it's Polanco next. There it is. Perfect, perfect line drive. Base hit Trey Mancini. And just like that, it is 3-0 Baltimore Orioles. Three perfect, perfect swings from Kitty Beach? That's unheard of, baby. That's unheard of. 112 off the bat on the perfect, perfect. Launch angle wasn't great. I want to put one over the monster today, man. Jorge Polanco already with one jack on the day. You never really know. You never really know what's going to happen. I, I, double play ball. All right. Um, no, it wasn't. I was expecting slider. That's how my PCI ended all the way up over there, even though it was a fastball down the middle. I was looking slider for some reason. Bro, slider has got Austin Hayes to look foolish both times. And it's always Austin Hayes. We're messing with my boy's stats, bro. Because the slider, I can't wait till we play against a pitcher without a slider. <laughs> I might score a 30 runs that game because as long as you throw a slider, you're going to get me um, swinging at some BS. Oh my God, that is a home run pitch. Austin Hayes, we trust you here. Ah, that's a home run. Wow, Xander Bogarts. I do not like right field here in Fenway. I guess I don't like left field either because you got that big-ass monster. But wow. Look what that pitch was, though. I mean, it was hiding away from him, and he, he put it in play. He did his thing. I can't even be mad at him. I'm not mad at John Means for that pitch. That's what I'm saying. Even though it doesn't, it doesn't help our ERA, Mr. Means. <laughs> I want this to be a complete game shutout for your ERA sake, but that's fine. It's unlikely. This is a good team. This is a good baseball team. So we weren't going to shut them out. Oh, my God. What? What? Are you serious? Where did this pitch end up? Where did this pitch up? He just found it. Oh my God, John, I'm sorry, your ERA. Your ERA is now a 19. I mean, it's better than 54, but it's a 19, bro. Two jacks in this inning. How many pitches have we thrown so far? Is it in the 70 range? It's 66. His composure or confidence is a little bit less to have and his energy is low too. Or not low, but it's, it's not high. You know what I'm saying? It's not high, but it's not low either. All right, we just need to get out of this inning. Thank you, um, we needed that. Yeah, that wasn't um, that wasn't really a strike, but we'll take it. I would have hated if that went against us, but since it went for us, big, big, great call, um. All right, there we go. I'm gonna throw KK the same pitch. He looked like me trying to fish that slider out. At least he made contact. I still, I still don't really be making contact on my sliders. Oh my god, oh my god, what did I just throw? Oh my god, what did I just throw? KK. Come on, man. All right, so they put some runs on the board. We got a one-run lead, which is not enough. All right, Zach McKinstry. I, I made you look foolish last time with a, with a strikeout. I refuse to have you go down like that again. Yes, yeah, 70 power versus righties is pretty good for a dude that we just picked up out of free agency. 3-2 count. A leadoff walk would be great, McKinstry. It'll be a great at-bat for you. It'll be a great at-bat. Leadoff walk. Beautiful. Adley hit a home run in this last at-bat. But he got a 3-1 count right now. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. 3-1 count. 
That's down the middle, bro. That's down the middle, bro. That, that's down the middle, bro. It's off the green monster. That's a double. I should have probably been sending McKinstry earlier. I should have been sending him earlier. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't, re I didn't realize what was happening. He's got four doubles, and three of them are in the last two videos. Like, we, we're raking with Adley. And just like that, we got a pitching change. And they're bringing in Chad Cole. Cool. It's pronounced cool. And you know what? I just bet on Chad Cool in real life yesterday. I bet his over in his strikeouts, and he didn't get the over on his strikeouts. It was like three strikeouts. He got like one. All right, Timmy. RBI opportunity. RBI opportunity. I... I... I didn't even look to see what pitch his brother had at the mound. I just kind of swung at the first pitch I saw, which is very Tim Anderson-like, I will admit. Um, but he's got a five-pitch repertoire and capping out at like a 97 on the fastball. There we go. That's going the other way. That's a run scored. We're not going two. We're not going to throw the second player here. I don't know who that is in right field. Was that J.D. Martinez? I couldn't tell. But we got an RBI single for Ramon Urias. And now we got Cedric Mullins. We need Cedric to be the... MVP caliber player that he was last season right now. And that's a double play ball. Great. Rain delay? <laughs> Yo, this is the first time this has happened to me. We got a rain delay. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. I mean, it's realistic. Um, so they're saying for another hour is what I'm hearing in my ear. Um, so I'm going to warm up Keegan Akin. Because we're only in the fifth, and I mean, at this point, you can't have your starting pitcher sitting for an hour, right? I'm going to warm up uh, Michael King as well. Um, I guess we got to put him in the game, huh? Wow. All right. I guess that's the that's the end of the day for John Means. Uh, what, what did he end up going? Four innings, four strikeouts, lowered his ERA from a 54 to a 16. I say that is a beautiful day. And now we can hopefully, if we can close out this game in these next couple innings, we can get you, uh, we can get you this win. We can get you this win. I think Keegan can work as a long end reliever. Um, I just don't like him as an overall starter. I mean, his ERA is a, a 19 right now too, so he can use. There you go, Cedric. That's a play. He can use a couple innings of, of shutout baseball for his ERA sake and for our team's sake, you know. So if I, I could give him the fifth and sixth inning, um, I think that would be a good sign. And then we, you know, we got to bring in Tyler Wells at some point in this game because man has zero innings pitched so far. I think in real life, Keegan has been playing pretty solid for the O's. So shout out to him. Um, he just doesn't really translate so far in MLB The Show. <laughs> so, you know. Oh, that's uh, Jorge. Make that play. It's He did it. Cedric, throw home. Throw home. I don't think they're testing it. They're testing the arm. Cedric Mullins. Get the swipe, Adley. We're out of the inning. Who is that third base? Who's the third base coach that sent that man on Cedric Mullins? Who would do such a thing? I didn't even get a perfect release on it either. He just got he got gunned out by a couple steps though. A couple steps. Yep. Adley makes the perfect tag. And just like that, we're out of the inning with no damage done. We got Ryan Mountcastle, our four, five, six hitters. Up to bat to start off the six. That slider, you can see I made contact. That, that I mean that's a that's a step in the right direction. Some good old contact. And a base hit on a a fastball. It was a fastball high. We're getting better with time, man. We're getting base runners today. We're getting base runners. Mancini already has a single on the day. I think you're in you're due for a double. You're due for a double. Three one count. Like Trey Mancini a lot. He got the green light if it's something down the middle or something close. Uh but you know, we'll take a walk too. That was basically down the middle. It was, if, at least it felt like it. I guess it was a little bit more inside, but it felt like down the middle. I, I I don't regret swinging at that pitch, even though it was a line out. Come on, Austin. Two Ks on the day, not three. <laughs> hey, scout reports say throw Austin Hayes sliders because he can't. He don't know how to deal with them. That's what the scout report is saying about Austin right now. And they threw him another slider. That's what the scout report is saying. Throw Austin Hayes sliders because if you do that, he will swing. And that's not great. You know what? That's a little blooper. That's a blooper. I'm testing that third. Oh, my God. He's got gunned out. Uh, 
I, I don't know who that is in right field, but actually, let me go look it up so I know not to, to run on this brother again. Oh, that's uh, that's Alice Verdugo. What is Verdugo's actual, like, throwing stats? Oh, he's got an arm. It's a 90. Yeah, that, that was a bad sin by me because I didn't know any better, all right? <laughs> I didn't know any better, you know? I'm just human. I'm just human. I didn't know any better. I didn't know that Verdugo had a cannon on him. Rafi Devers. I'm surprised he's even still on the team. Thought he was going to walk in free agency, you know, test his uh, his chances. But nope, he re-signed here. He re-signed to stay in the division with the Orioles, which is like probably the dumbest thing you can do because this is this is Baltimore's um, division. Easily. This is Baltimore's division. All right, Keegan. I'm giving you another batter. Um, and J.D. Martinez did send somebody yard a couple uh, innings ago. Huh. That's uh. Dang. That's unfortunate. Mostly because it was my fault. I hung the pitch. That wasn't even Keegan Atkin. That was me. That was Kenny Beecham, the guy with the with the analog sticks. JD Martinez about to win Player of the Week on us, bro. That's crazy. Two home runs, three RBIs for him. Ramon Urias, you can make that play. You can make that play. Cross his body, two outs. That just means we had to score a little bit more. That's all. We just need to score a little bit more in these last couple innings. The movement on Michael King's slurve is disgusting. Yep, okay, we're out the inning. Timmy, make the play. All right, let's get those bats going again. <laughs> um, they brought in the lefty, okay. We're going to warm up Tyler Wells. Warm up Tyler Wells and, and warm up Brents. All right, Adley, let's keep up this hot streak. Home run, a double. We just need this triple and this single, and we good. And I fumbled. Ah, oh, brother. This is supposed to be a win. This is supposed to be a win. And I'm struggling. I'm struggling. I put up four runs. That's pretty good, but we need more. Tim Anderson, 0 for 3 on the day. Not Timmy-like. Not Timmy-like. He's due. He's due. We just got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. That's, that's what I think is happening to me. He's out of that inning. That felt like a good pitch. Curveball. Basically, where my PCI was, slightly late. Guess that's fine. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I do here. Do I pitch Tyler Wells right now? I'm going to pitch Tyler Wells right now. Matt King, uh, Michael King, thank you for coming in and taking care of business. But now it is Tyler Wells' this time. Let's go ahead and throw him this curveball. Oh, I hit circle change. Okay. Beautiful circle change, Kenny. Beautiful circle change. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it was close to it. Let's get him this slider. Tyler Wells, former All-Star. Last year was an All-Star out of our bullpen. The fact that we've gone a week into the, the season and he hasn't gotten an appearance is very disrespectful to the to the All-Star. Uh, but hey, if, I, if I'm the one playing and there's an opportunity to get him some, some time on the bump, I'm going to do that because I trust him. I trust him more than anybody else in that bullpen, if I'm being honest. You don't, you don't want to walk the, the first man on, though. Ramon, Ramon, ah, a little bit out of his reach. I wanted to dive there, low key. A little bit out of his reach. Still three two count. I'm giving him something. That's a that's a good eye. That's a good eye from Adam Hazley. All right, all right. Not the greatest start, Tyler. I said I trusted you more than anybody. That is playable. Cedric Mullins with the wheels make the play deep into center field, center right field right there, and we'll take that. Whew. A little bit dangerous in other ballparks. That's a home run. I'm being honest with you. Trevor Story, double play ball, Jorge Polanco. Uh huh. Beautifully done, boys. We're out of the inning. Shout out to Tyler Wells. Three up, not three up, three down, but very good. Garrett Whitlock is out here. One of their better bullpen arms. Sinker, slider, fastball, circle change. All right, man. We got six outs. We got six outs to make some things happen, man. All right, Cedric. Need, need one. Need something. Need something. Need something. Is there a chance? Nope. Man, he just hit that ball 410 feet. And it didn't matter. I feel like we were playing so good at first, and now we're just fumbling this game. I could not have two episodes of this year, and in both episodes we lose. No way, right? No way. You know, I made my fair share of fumbles, you know what I'm saying? I hung that one pitch that was the two-run shot for J.D. Martinez. I sent that runner to third base on Alex Verdugo, not knowing that it was Alex Verdugo. So we have it. We've played very far from a perfect game, but still winnable. 
Still winnable. Let's go, Ty. Fastball inside. Two-seamer. Let's get him going. Sit down. All right. Jorge's there. We're good. We're good. The commentators can't see what I see. I see exactly where that ball about to land. I'm throwing it. Just got to do it slow. Just got to do it slow. 88%. Hey, the second chain is kind of coming along, low key. All right, come on. Let's get out of this inning, Mr. Wells. And then you're done for the day. You gave us two good innings. Ooh, he got a good out of layoff that one. That's a pitch I'm swinging at 100% of the time. Jorge, right into the shift. Jorge Polanco's there. All right, we're down to our last three outs. Unless we, you know, close things out and we go to extras. But I don't want to go to extras. So who do we have? We got Trey Mancini. One, two count. Let me warm somebody up. Ah, oh, Brents is there. Put, they got a righty heavy lineup coming up. I'm I'm gonna warm up Dylan Tate instead. I can't let JD Martinez walk us off. He cannot have a three home run game. No way, not against me. All right, base hit right up the middle. Circle change. We'll take that. We needed a base runner, and Jorge Polanco comes through. All right, all right. Make some noise. Make some noise, O's. Make some noise. Three two count for who? Austin Hayes. Don't throw me. Don't do not do not throw me no freaking slider and we're gonna be okay. That was a slider. That was a slider. That's in the gaps. That's in the gaps. No, no, the ground rule double just sold. I was hey, I was sending him. I was sending him 100 percent And now we gotta rely on Jorge Mateo. Now we gotta rely on Jorge Mateo. Oh my god. I mean, thanks. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. Adley, Adley, make it known that you are the rookie of the year. Make it known, Adley. Make it known. No, no. Everybody get back. Everybody get back. We good. We good. We good. Three, two count. Three, two count, Adley. Do not ground into a double play. As long as you don't ground into a double play, we're happy with the scenario. Do not ground into a double play. Whatever you do, do not ground into a double play. Ah! Bro, the ground world rule double just sold. I was 1,000% sending him around that corner. Oh, man. All right, Dale. It's your time. It's your time to shine, man. Oh, my God. I'm so disappointed in the ground world double. That just saved y'all whole game, Boston. Don't, don't, if you win this game, do not feel like you did because the, the, your field, your arena, your ballpark just saved y'all a run. I'm a little afraid of this fella. Oh my God. I thought that was the end of the game, low key. I thought that was the end of the game. Come on. No way. He's that patient. And okay, they put Jalen Duran in. 88 speed. You're not running on Adley Rutschman though, so we're fine. You'd be, you be a damn fool to, to run on Rutschman. Thank you, Tate. Bobby, sit down. Yeah, that was a strike, my boy. Sit down. Another 3-2 count. Bro, they're really working Dylan Tate right now. That's a double play ball. Extras. Here we come. What the heck? Oh, my God. They turned it. Whoa. Whoa. I thought he was safe. Look at that Look at that throw. And let me see the steps. Let me see the steps. You're not going to show the steps? All right. Well, we're going into extras. We don't have anybody that's speedier than Adley on our bench because we have it in Jorge, Palanc uh, Jorge Mateo. We, we low-key may have sold by pinch hitting Jorge a little while ago in like the seventh inning or whatever it was. But it is what it is. We got to live with the things that you do. Tim Anderson is 0 for 4 on the day. Unacceptable, Timmy. Unacceptable. Come on, Timmy. No way you feel that. Who is that second? I guess he didn't hit it very hard. But wow. You just made that play? I got to see who it is legitimately. I want to I want to see who it is. Trevor Story. Trevor Story on the season, by the way. Your glove better be working because look at his batting average. Yeah. Yeah, so your glove better works. Romani Rios has had a pretty solid game. Or, I mean, he's one for four. That's better than a lot of other people on the team. <laughs> so we need a base hit here. There's no way we don't score our runner. We don't score our runner, we lose a game. Simple. Simple. No way around it. We got to put this ball in play, get a hit. Oh, Cedric. Cedric, baby. Show, show off them all, them all style your digs. We need one, man. Desperately. Oh, wow. You gonna hit my all-star? Fight, fight. Where's the fight? 
Yeah, oh, I went to fight him. Okay, Mountcastle. He's also one for four on the day. Mr. Mountcastle, let's break out of this slump. Let's break out of this slump. Let's break out of this slump, baby. Let's break out of this slump. Send him. Send him. Send him, baby. Ryan Mountcastle with a two-run double in the top of the 10th. Yeah. Yeah. You just, yeah, fist pump. You deserve that. Let me go ahead and warm up my closer because it's that time, baby. It's that time. Sit sit down, Brent. Sit your butt down. Schedule him to come in, too. Aaron Bummer. Two-run double off the monster. What, what a hit, man. Threw us a slider down the middle, and we caught it, which is unheard of for, for me. He caught it. Okay. Another run when I hurt. Another run when I hurt. That's not it, though. All right. We walk out of there with two runs. Two runs is great. Ryan Mountcastle comes up big right here. Showcasing why he is part of the future, man. Do you still want to change pitchers? Absolutely. Adam, uh, uh, I said Adam. Aaron Bummer. I guess he blew a save earlier this year, but that's okay. That's okay. He still got the win. ERA is still zero. So he's, wait, he's he's one and two in save opportunities, but hasn't given up a run. But 3-1, we got to give him something to hit. If we do exactly that, he was, he was looking the whole time through. I saw that, that bat on his shoulder. He ain't think about swinging. He swings at that one, though. That's a pop-up to Timmy. You better get back, Mr. Second Base Runner. Are we good? That's one out. One out. One out, boys. Two away from this win. It's, it's uh, Vasquez. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> what? That's not, I didn't throw a bad pitch. I did not throw a bad pitch, bro. Oh, my God. All right, Bummer. All right, Bummer. Get, get us out of this jam. Get us out of this inning. No, I, I did not throw a bad pitch. That's the crazy part. Dang, he just got it. That happens. That's just baseball. That's just baseball. Dang, bro. I cannot believe that Christian Vasquez just caught all of that ball and hit it over the monster. All right, to the 11th we go. <laughs> I thought Ryan Mountcastle was about to do his thing, bro. I thought he just was the savior, but he absolutely wasn't. Jorge Polanco, he's got a single and a home run on the day. See if he can uh, do something else. Oh, the cutter. It looked like a fastball out the hit. Okay, all right, all right. All right, let me let me warm up. Um, Brent's is getting warmed up, I guess. We're basically spending every pitcher in this random game early in the season. Maybe not the smartest thing to do, considering we got to play again tomorrow. We advance the runner, I guess. All right, Mateo, it's on you, right? I think it's back to Jorge Mateo. No, it's Austin Hayes, then Jorge Mateo. Okay, I'll take that. He had a double in the last inning, or uh, in the ninth inning. So he could do a lot of different things here. But instead, he grounded to third base. Because, because I'm, because it's, because I'm bad. Jorge Mateo is going to be our savior, I guess. Oh man, the morale's at an all-time low. Perfect, perfect. Jorge Mateo with the RBI single. That's great. That's great. Hey, morale is just looked up. Just looked up, and now it's Adley, who can, who can make some more noise. I'm not gonna try to steal. Oh my God, that fast. Why is this fastball eight? Look what my PCI was. If my time is right, that's a perfect, perfect. But the time it wasn't right, so. Good eye, good eye. You know what we gotta do. We're sending Jorge Mateo. Um, let's get this double and, sit and get Jorge Mateo home so we get another two run lead. Oh, he know what's going on. I understand. You got one of the fastest men in baseball on first, on the three, two count. You trying to get him on his jump. Try to, try to fake him out. I suck. I suck. Shout out to Jorge. Now it's, it's about it's about closing this out, fellas. It's about closing this out, man. Um, I'm taking Bummer out because he blew the game, and I refuse to let him. No. All right, now it is Jake Brents. I have not pitched with him yet this year. He's got a blue glove. Has everybody had a blue glove? I don't even know. Okay. They, they will be dumb to try to tag up on Austin Hayes, right? They're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. They're doing it. Ah. 
I didn't get the perfect yes. throw. All right, Rafael Devers. We got the lefty lefty. We need a strike out here. We need a strike out here. Okay, we need a strike out here. Come on. I wouldn't be opposed to a walk either, low key. I wouldn't be opposed to a walk either. So I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him some pitches that are questionable. Oh my god. Great. I wouldn't be opposed to a walk mostly because it sets up a potential double play ball. Beautiful. Beautiful. Held the runner at third. We are one out away. And who is it? It is Jalen Duran, who was pinch hitting or pinch running for J.D. Martinez. This could come back to bite them because J.D. Martinez had been unstoppable through every at-bat he's had. But instead, they got the young Jada, Jada, Jalen Moran, and he strikes out swinging to end the game. Wow, what a game, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. And we walk out of Fenway with a win in 11. A, a seven to six game. It went, hey, it went long, baby. But we get our dub. Adley MVP. I think it got to be Adley. Two for five with a home run, a double, and two runs. It's got to be Adley. Y'all don't know how much I needed that win for my own personal psyche. I needed to know that I wasn't washed up on the sticks. So we getting that, us getting that win is great. We got a legend icon pack from getting that win, I guess. Oh, oh we don't have to play tomorrow, so that's great. Um, I want to go over to my scouting. Um, okay. Simulate this next day and now go over to scouting as things change I need to go out there and go get some international outfielders. I, I agree. Let's just change that to international Because uh, right now we don't we have not scouted any international or have them on our board I feel like we got a good amount of infielders to, to you know scout um, When it comes to catchers, we don't really need to look at catchers because we have Adley and then pitching um, We need somebody from the West to go look at pitchers and I that's right-hander. That's right-hander. Are they all righties? Do we need to go look at lefties? I need to go look at some lefties because these are all... Okay, we got some uh, lefties, but I need to go west and go left-handed pitching. And I'm going to say I'm looking for command from the west. Cool. Let's see if we can continue our win streak, close out this series versus Boston. That's a win. That's a win. We are 7-2 to start the year. We got a series versus Cleveland. Let's see what Cleveland's about. It's in Cleveland. Charlie Morton got injured during today's game. He's only out for a day or two, but we end up losing that one. Okay, Keegan Atkin is selling us. Um, and, and there's Charlie, no longer injured. John Means, oh my God. Imagine pitching a gym like that and we lose one to zero. Our bats did not wake up on that one. We got a couple games versus the Kansas City Royals. I keep forgetting to turn this back on. A uh, couple games against the Kansas City Royals at home. They're nine and three to start the year. So this is a good baseball team. 14 game history from Ramon Urias. Where we're down 11 to, to zero, so I could not care less. We put up seven runs to make it at least feel like we had a chance. But who's pitching for us this game? Eric Lauer. Hey, hey, Keegan Atkin gotta go. Keegan Atkin gotta go. He's got to go. He's got to go. I'm sorry. We're a month into the season, and I'm so I'm he's he's got to get out of here, bro. Where are you at? 21 ERA and six innings pitched. I, I can't I can't deal with it, bro. I cannot deal with it. You are gone. You're done with. We're going we're gonna bring up Tommy Wilson, I guess. We're bringing up Tommy Wilson. Y'all the same overall anyway. I'm bringing him up. I'm sorry. I can't I cannot deal with this dude being trash. Tommy Wilson's now is coming up to the majors, man. You cannot you cannot be worse than him. There's no way you're worse than him. Next game is Ramon Urias on a 15 game hit a streak. Austin Hayes is out for a couple days. That's okay, I guess. It's only a couple days. Do not get swept by them. Thank you. And then lastly, hey, Ramon Urias is having a heck of a season so far. Uh, we are tied for the best record in the division. And next series, we're going against Tampa. I just pitched with John Mean, so I simulate the first game in the series. We're going to, next game you see us play is going to be with Eric Lauer versus Ryan Yarbrough. Um, Yarbrough, Yarbrough. And we're going to try to complete this series. I, I forgot to go back to scouting. Uh, it is what it is. I'm going to do some scouting. And Timmy Anderson is back to good. You know that Ramon Urias is on a 1900 game win streak or a hitting streak. Cedric Mullins average is coming up. The bats are coming along. Trey Mancini's hitting 403 on the year. Uh, then we got Polanco. Everybody's hitting great except for Austin Hayes and Adley Rutschman at the bottom there. But that's pretty good. They have been attendee against righties not playing, which is not what I want. What's what's oh they got Jorge Mateo in here. I, I definitely want Ben Attendee. 
playing. He's not, he's not a, um, Ben Attendee is not a platoon player. We did not sign him to be a platoon player. We signed him to be an everyday player. So we'll do that. Change this up a little bit. Get Austin Hayes a little bit down there. And Ramon Uri is going to stick to where he is. I'm going to hit the save. I appreciate you. And I'll see y'all next episode.